Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm a sleep physician. And if you're insomnia, this channel is for you. A very important episode today, we're gonna to talk about how insomnia ends and also how it does not end, which is the really important part. It does not end with somebody finally finding that magic bullet that solves their insomnia. And we're gonna see how that insight can become the first step towards you overcoming your insomnia. Welcome back. Hope you're doing really, really, really good today. And if you're new to the channel, then i um, very happy to have you here. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how insomnia ends, as mentioned, and more importantly, how it does not end. This is episode, I think this is going to be 166 or 167. So we do have already on this channel, good number of examples of how insomnia ends. Let's take a look at those. First, I want to mention uh, uh, Fun Universe and Alessio and Matt, to name a few, who actually very quickly recovered simply by using bedtime restriction, which is like the core CBTI technique. And uh, so that, so that just using bedtime restriction alone, like spending a little bit less time in bed, is one example of how insomnia ends. Another one is to name uh, a few uh, people from the channel, Pjorn and Bobby and Suzanne, who have worked more, they use not only bedtime restriction, but like stimulus control, worked on sleep effort and, and other CBTI techniques and overcame their insomnia. Another example of how insomnia ends is not only uh, bedtime restriction, but using like, you know, all the CBTI techniques. So CBTI in general is one way of how insomnia ends, but not the only one. We have another example from the channel, Jamie Lee Olivero, who is in one of the Talking Insomnia episodes, who had a lot of anxiety, I uh, got counseling for anxiety, um, anxiety levels are lower, and, and then he overcame insomnia, another example. And then we have Pexy Lopez from episode 159, who basically after many years of insomnia said, I, I, don't, I don't care if I sleep or not, uh, like completely let go of any efforts of sleeping and, um, and uh, overcame insomnia. So that's another example of how insomnia ends now. What I really, really want to talk to you about here is how it does not end. I've never come across somebody, you never hear about somebody who had insomnia for years and years and finally discovered that it was milkweed. They needed milkweed. They started taking milkweed and insomnia ended. That is not how insomnia ends. Or somebody finally discovering that they have a selenium deficiency. They're low in selenium levels. They need to replenish that. And when they did, they recovered. That's also an example of how insomnia does not end. Why am I talking about that? Why is it so important? Why do I feel it's so important to talk about how insomnia does not end? Well, it's because so many, many of you probably that, that are listening to this are searching for that thing, that silver bullet, that supplement that is gonna end the insomnia. And that is not how insomnia ends. And, and you know, I, I don't wanna take hope from anybody. The opposite, I, I want you to be hopeful but a first step to, you know, to recovering from insomnia is to let go of that pursuit, you know, let go of that, you know, kind of desperately trying to find that silver bullet that's going to cure the insomnia, because that's not how insomnia ends. And when, when you're kind of starting to explore those beliefs, when you're taking a step back from that pursuit, where you're, um, you know, not putting so much effort into sleep, then you may be at a point where you're ready to commit to what really helps. Bedtime restriction, stimulus control, examining beliefs, letting go of sleep effort, building sleep confidence, CBTI. That is how insomnia ends. For most people really, with chronic insomnia, CBTI is how it ends. So um, hopeful this was helpful. If you're new to the channel, then you may, you're, you may be like, what are you talking about? Bedtime restriction, stimulus control. Well, go back to the first episodes. So episode one, episode five, episode 14, 21. And really, uh, that, that's a good way to, way to start. And then just br browse the entire channel and, and you'll, you'll quickly know exactly what I'm talking about. So again, hope, hope this was helpful. As always, please leave a comment if you have any uh, thoughts, questions, and, uh, or, or send me an email, daniel at insomniainsight.co and hope to have you back here real soon. Until then, bye-bye.